Hi. Shh. Hi. Rihanna is one of the world's best-selling music artists and has won multiple Grammys, AMAs, and more. Lately, she's been more low-key with her personal life, but you'd be pleased to know she's doing great. I heard that Riri is ready to settle down and get married and have some babies with her billionaire boyfriend, Hassan Jamil, but we'll just have to wait and see when that happens. You know what? You're right. Robin Rihanna Fenty is 31 at the time of this recording and is a singer, actress, fashion designer, a businesswoman, and more. She's come a long way from growing up in Barbados and discovered a ton of success since moving to the US back in 05 and getting signed by none other than Jay-Z, but you guys have heard that story before. At the moment, Rihanna has 77.3 million followers on Instagram and keeps her loyal following of fans wherever she goes. She's also managed to build a famous brand, her cosmetic line Fenty Beauty, which is praised for how well it caters to all skin tones. Rihanna even branched her Fenty brand off into the world of fashion with a successful lingerie line and announcing a new fashion house called Fenty last year, which is based in Paris. Considering Riri's business endeavors, selling 250 million records, and everything else she's done, she's racked up an estimated net worth of 600 million according to Forbes. It's just, it, it's fun. That is an insane amount of money. Of course, Rihanna's invested in some pretty nice real estate too, from her palace in her homeland to her London mansion and everywhere in between. But we'll talk about all that in a little bit. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna look at the places Rihanna calls home, like her previous estate in LA, her home in London she's been at for the last few years, her Barbados mansion, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of The Weeknd and Cardi B, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments, and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Before we look at Rihanna's houses, let's take a peek at where she grew up. Rihanna lived in a modest little house in her hometown of Bridgetown, Barbados from age 5 until she left for the US at age 16 to become a superstar. Rihanna's childhood home has actually been turned into a tourist spot and they even renamed the street Rihanna Drive in her honor. Nobody lives in the house anymore but it's been newly painted in bright colors. Rihanna says her favorite places in the area are Daphne's Restaurant, Waterfront Cafe, and the bars at St. Lawrence Gap. She also loves shopping in Bridgetown or hanging at Sandy Lane Resort, so if you ever visit her hometown, maybe you'll see her there. Since Rihanna became a star, she's bounced from home to home quite a bit. A while back, she even owned this huge home in the Pacific Palisades area of California. Rihanna's had a few more homes in Hollywood or close by, but as far as I know, she's sold them. So what else did she own in LA? Back in 2017, Riri put her villa in West Hollywood on the market. She may not have even resided in the spot because she only owned it for a few short months. Rihanna purchased the gated 2,651 square foot home for 2.75 mil and then flipped it to sell for 2.85 mil. This house had four beds, each with their own ensuite bathroom, and even had a guest house. Of course, outside there was a pool and cabana, and the home had plenty of privacy as well. Now, that house wasn't the only real estate Rihanna had in LA. She also had a main home, which was much bigger. A few years ago, I think in 2016, Riri invested in a mega mansion in the Hollywood Hills. This home was located just above the Sunset Strip, and she paid 6.8 mil for it. Looking at the photos, this place was gorgeous. It was over 7,000 square feet of living space, and had six beds, eight baths, and two half baths. The mansion had a lot of privacy, including camera secured entry gates, and sat on almost half an acre of land. Rihanna's Hollywood Hills home was definitely glamorous, and the style was somewhat a mix between craftsman, Mediterranean, and modern. Some features of her mansion, aside from the more obvious rooms, included a guest house that's been made into a gym, a home movie theater, and a massive master suite with a sitting area and views of the hills. Outside, of course, there was an infinity pool. If you're wondering why Rihanna ditched this place so soon, it was all because of an intruder. Apparently, a stalker managed to break in after disabling the alarm system and climbing a fence. He even stayed lurking inside her home for 12 hours. She wasn't at home at the time, but that's enough to creep anyone out. Word is she put the mansion on the market for 7.5 mil, but hasn't sold it yet, so she also listed it for rent. Only 35k a month. LA is far from the only place Riri has called home. We know the star lived in NYC for about four years, and while she lived there, she was renting a penthouse for 50K a month. 
Some say she purchased this place and actually owns real estate in the Big Apple, but I don't know for sure. Anyways, this two-story penthouse Rihanna lived in for years was 7,000 square feet, which is only a bit less space than her LA mansion. It had four beds and 3.5 baths, and there was also a 2,400 square foot terrace. It was located around the area of Chinatown and Soho in NYC, so obviously right in the action. The penthouse was super bright and had a ton of windows which filled the home with natural lights. You also had an amazing view of NYC from the jacuzzi and the master bathroom. Some say Rihanna ended up buying the place for over 14 mil, while other sources say the penthouse is listed for sale at 17 million. Either way, it's a big price tag. Rihanna obviously went back and forth between LA and NYC, but I was surprised to learn she actually has been calling London, England home for over a year now. Yes, London. This home was a secret and like I mentioned, Rihanna has been laying pretty low for a while. She casually mentioned that she was living in London at one point and fans started to search for her mystery mansion, which ended up being found. Apparently, she's also posted it on her social media before. That was not easy. But uh, I did it. Riri's London mansion is worth over 30 mil and she's been paying something like 20,000 US dollars a week to rent it. The home is located in North London and has seven beds and five baths over four levels of living space. Other features of her London home include heated flooring, two study rooms, and a home gym. Sources say Rihanna has been enjoying living in London, so if she chooses to stay longer, maybe she'll decide to purchase some real estate instead of rent. Remember earlier I mentioned that Rihanna loves the resort One Sandy Lane in her hometown of Barbados? Well, she loved it enough that she bought a residence there fit for a queen. Located at One Sandy Lane in Paynes Bay, there are only eight giant apartments in the building, and it's just a short walk to the beach. The One Sandy Lane residence building looks more like a palace than an apartment complex, and it's definitely impressive. Riri bought this place for 21.8 million and it's 10,000 square feet of living space. It's separate and private from the famous One Sandy Lane Hotel, but it's just down the beach. The condo has five bedrooms, each with ensuite bathrooms, as well as private terraces and dressing rooms. She's apparently rented the spot out for her family a year before buying it and fell in love. Rihanna bought her mom a lovely house as well in the past, but her fam also stays in this gorgeous spot with her when she's visiting. There are private elevators and parking, a security system, and staff works to keep the residents in perfect shape even when Rihanna's away. Looking at photos of this luxurious place and remembering the tiny home Rihanna grew up in as a child, coming a long way is definitely an understatement. Now we've seen all of Rihanna's real estate, or what we know of anyways. It seems like she's enjoyed the fanciest of homes from her Hollywood Hills mansion to her penthouse in NYC. These days, Rihanna likes to keep things a little bit more private, but I think she's spending most of her time in her gorgeous London mansion and still has her beachfront palace in her homeland of Barbados. Apparently, the star still owns real estate in LA, but just didn't need such a big residence since she wasn't there as often. I heard Rihanna owns two condos in Los Angeles, but one building that she's been spotted at frequently is the Century Tower in Century City. It's assumed that one of the condos Riri owns is in this luxurious LA condo tower, and since she's put her mansion on the market, she stays there when she's in town. This building is famous for its anti-paparazzi security and amazing amenities, including a 75-foot pool. But whatever Rihanna owns or doesn't own, the woman can afford it with that net worth. And she's definitely worked hard building an empire over the years. I'm guessing her billionaire man lives with her too, so we'll just have to wait and see if they get married anytime soon and buy a new mega mansion together. Okay guys, now I'll read out a few comments from previous videos. On our Will Smith house tour, James Taylor said, Amazing how sexy Jada is despite her age. It's as if she does not age. Wow. I think both Jada and Will look great for their age. I agree, James, and they seem to have such youthful energy too. Devin Zastre also commented on the Will Smith house tour and said, Great job on the video. Thank you, Devin. I'm glad you liked it. And finally, I also got a couple comments requesting both Chris Brown's house tour and Diddy's, so let me know if those are some you guys would like to see. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Rihanna's many homes. Which was your favorite? I think I liked her old LA mansion the best, as well as her luxury vacation spot in Barbados. I love the fact that it's so spacious and right on the beach. Be sure to let me know in the comments, and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye!